Uh, let's talk about uh, the story that I briefly referenced before the break here. So, the raw story did this great uh, report on a smoothie shop that is charging liberals more than they are charging conservatives. The shop is in Utah, and the extra money that he charges to liberals, he uses to donate to the Heritage Foundation, which is, of course, a right-wing think tank. Uh, so let me go ahead and play this little news clip for you, and then we'll discuss it afterwards. A company charged more for its products based on the customer's political beliefs. You don't have to imagine. It's happening in Vernal. Eastern Utah News Specialist Jeff Lysick explains. George Burnett is best known here in the Uinta Basin as the I Love Drilling guy a title he made for himself when he moved here about four years ago. Well, now he's opened a juice and smoothie bar, and like everything Burnett does, there's a little bit of a twist. I love this place. I will support this place with every fiber of my being. George Burnett's new business has only been open a couple of weeks, and it's already getting rave reviews. It's a good place to come for lunch or for a good snack that's healthy, that's not processed, and also can give you good nutrients. But there's one thing that's left some folks with a bitter taste. I'm very open about it. I'm very public about it. I, you know, that I'm going to charge a little bit more. And I have liberals come in and pay the extra dollar surcharge. Yep, Burnett, a diehard supporter of domestic energy and longtime health food fan, charges those who identify themselves as liberals $1 more for their drinks, then donates the money to conservative causes. And actually, all three liberals have been happy to pay it. But a few have tried foul on Burnett's Facebook page. This is pathetic, one person wrote. One place in town I won't be going, another said. And highly offensive and inappropriate is how another described it. Burnett said his goal isn't to offend, it's to educate. We have a fiscal problem in this country. We've got to deal with it or we, are, or we don't have a country. So to kind of help make that point a little bit, I charge him just a little bit more. Conservative customers like Corey Peterson support Burnett's message and his method. To see them being charged a little more it makes me happy you would think as cold as it's been here in the uinta basin nobody would be out looking for an ice cold smoothie but folks were coming and going from the shop all morning long and the drinks they're actually pretty good infernal jeff lysick ksl5 news that is absolutely positively unbelievable man I mean, where do I begin? Where do I begin talking about how ridiculous this is? First of all, let's just get, you know, the, the question out of the way right now. Is this legal? The answer is no. Unequivocally, no. Why is it not legal? Well, pick up a copy of the United States Constitution and read it. Which, ironically, uh, you know, the conservatives and the Republicans, like the guy who runs this shop, they always trumpet about, oh, we got to stick to the Constitution, man, the Constitution. Well, obviously, you've never read it, because if you did read it, you would know that equal protection under the law is protected, is, is one of the rights under the Constitution, and you can't discriminate based on arbitrary means, right? So just like a, a restaurant owner can't say, oh, look, you're black, I don't want to serve you, get out, right? That's illegal, can't do it. Just like a restaurant owner or whatever, pick any kind of shop, a convenience store can't say, oh, I'm sorry, you're a woman, you have a vagina? That's nice, get out. We're not interested in serving you. Right? You can't do that. Why can't you do that? Because you have to abide by equal protection under the law. You can't discriminate based on arbitrary means. Saying, because you have different political beliefs than I do, I'm not going to serve you, it's just flat out not allowed. And then look, there's a good slippery slope argument to be made here too. So to what ends do you do this? Do you say, okay, wait a second, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna quiz you. Uh, what are your thoughts on um, economic policy? What tax rate do you prefer? Do you want a flat tax or a fair tax or a, a progressive tax system? And then let's say somebody's a conservative and they say a fair tax. Eh, sorry, I'm in favor of a flat tax. I'm charging you the extra dollar too. Well, then you're just making, you're another clown, man. I mean, if you weren't a clown, clown enough before, that would make you even more of a clown. And I love his argument. Look, uh, all three liberals were happy to pay it. Oh, well, then I've, you've, you've swayed me. I've changed my mind now. Problem solved. 
the three liberals that came into your bullshit shop paid it, so I guess none of us should be offended and none of us should, uh, you know, try to take action to stop this. Ridiculous.